So friends, let's talk about John Bolton's dangerous disregard of the national security threat posed by Donald Trump. Because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So remember the reporting from a few days ago in the Washington Post that part of what the FBI was looking for when they executed that judicially authorized search warrant at Mar-a-Lago included classified documents relating to nuclear weapons. Okay, so how in the world did Donald Trump have in his possession classified documents about nuclear weapons systems that he could take with him down to Florida. Well, now we have some insight into how that could have happened. And the insight comes from this guy, John Bolton, Donald Trump's national security advisor. Let me say that again with emphasis. Donald Trump's national security advisor. Here's what we just learned from Bob Costa of CBS News in connection with an interview he conducted with John Bolton. Costa, question. Did you ever see him, Trump, handle papers or documents with information regarding nuclear weapons? Answer from Bolton, yes. In these briefings, these intelligence briefings, there were occasions where that kind of information was discussed, as you might expect. Costa, and what would he do with the documents? Bolton, well, in many cases, the intelligence briefers would bring pictures or graphs or information that was useful for the president to see, and they'd hand the information to him across the desk, and often the president would say, well, can I keep this? And in my experience, the intelligence briefers most often would say, well, sir, we'd prefer to take that back. But sometimes they forgot. They forgot. So what did Trump do with these papers in the event the intelligence briefers forgot to take them back? Costa. When you were in the Oval Office, Trump would sometimes ask to keep the documents from intelligence officials. Bolton, that's correct. Costa, well, what exactly would Trump say to the intelligence officers? Bolton, this is very interesting. I'd like to keep it. Costa, he'd like to keep it. Why? Bolton, well, I don't know, but it worried me. Costa, why? Why did it worry you? Bolton, because my concern was that he, Trump, didn't feel that the confidentiality of much of this information was as important as we knew it to be. It just didn't register with him that safeguarding this information for its own sake and because of the risk to sources and methods of obtaining the intelligence could be jeopardized. Costa, why do you think he, Trump, took potentially sensitive documents back to Florida after the presidency, Bolton, because he thought he could get away with it. Bolton added, I was always concerned about him asking for those documents because once he had them and we left the Oval Office, there's no telling what he did with them. Did I mention John Bolton was Donald Trump's national security advisor? It sure would have been nice if he had, I don't know, advised the president of the national security implications, the potential danger to national security of retaining classified information about nuclear weapons systems, information that now may have been whisked away to Florida. You know, we're going to have plenty of time to see precisely what the FBI recovered from Mar-a-Lago and whether it included classified, sensitive information about nuclear weapons systems. But I want to turn away from Donald Trump. I want to keep our attention on John Bolton. Because isn't it wonderful that a guy like John Bolton opted not to speak up 
when he was witnessing the kind of dangerous recklessness of Donald Trump. Not to do anything about it, but rather just to sit on the information and sacrifice the security of our nation. Because, you know, I guess someday John Bolton was going to want to write a book with this information that he concealed from the American people about Trump's misconduct. Information that, if he had disclosed it in real time, could have put a stop to Donald Trump's damage to the nation before he had a chance to inflict that damage. But, of course, the damage is now done. Nice work, John Bolton. You know, I hope Merrick Garland is not only carefully investigating the crimes of Donald Trump, but I hope he's also looking into John Bolton's role in all of this potential complicity. Because justice matters. Friends, as always, please stay safe. Please stay tuned. And I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.